Greetings, YouTubers. Uh, today I'm going to make another lime dish, uh, also um, also Thai. Um, some variations, maybe. I don't. I don't really know. Uh, one of the things that I like to do um, is go into restaurants and you know have a meal and um, try to uh, figure out what what the ingredients are, how they're made, and then um, oftentimes I'll come home and I'll. I'll try to reproduce it in my kitchen, or in this case, in, in my camper. <laughs> All right, so I've got my cast iron skillet here and a wooden uh, spatula. Let's get a fire under this guy. I'm back inside again simply because it's windy. I'm just going to put this on a kind of a medium-low heat. Uh, well, I picked up some uh, ground sirloin at uh, the Roadrunner Market here in Quartzite, just under a pound. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is brown that up. I really like that Roadrunner Market. I've been in there several times. They're kind of ex kind of expensive, but um, you know they are very convenient. I'm going to add a little bit of the herbs. I'm going to add some fresh herbs um, later in the process, but I want to put a little bit of flavor into the meat now. <clears throat> some crushed red pepper. This is a Thai basil, garlic, and crushed red pepper, and I have no idea what the quantities are, but you know, season. This is you know, these are your. Assuming that you reproduce them yourself, these are your recipes. Do with with them as you uh, as you think prudent for your particular taste. A little bit of sriracha and a little bit of soy for salt. Got my uh, these are deep, these are deep fried jalapenos. Just gonna crush them up into here. Starting to get a little bit of sizzle going on here. So basically, just gonna brown this meat up, and then I'll I'll probably uh, introduce uh, some of these herbs again, the garlic and the basil, primarily. Um, because I, I want the flavor from those. The heat, the heat's going to be there, you know, from the red, crushed red chili and uh, and the sriracha. But sometimes cooking kind of um, diminishes the flavor of of the herbs. So I'm going to add those fresh after I get the meat browned and uh, start introducing the final ingredients. So uh, I'm gonna let this brown up for a little bit, and then um, I'll come back and uh, give you the rest okay, of the story. This is starting to get a little brown now, and um, I, I don't want to caramelize this meat, but I do want to get uh, the moisture out of it. Um, so I'm gonna brown this, even though it's it's all the pink is pretty much gone. I'm gonna continue to cook this a little bit, and um, just kind of um, evaporate some of this moisture out. And okay, then I'll add the, rest the meat of is the pretty uh, pretty well brown. And um, most of the moisture, if not all of it, has been uh, has been cooked off. So this is a uh, this is nice right now, just like it is. Um, not quite to the point where I'm starting to caramelize. If I wait too much longer, it will be. Um, so I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit. And you can use chicken. I've seen this with chicken. It's called um, lab. Is how it's pronounced uh, by native Thais. Spelt L-A-R-B typically on the menu. Lab. And it's usually served with uh, fresh cabbage leaves. So you'll, like a quarter of a cabbage, you'll just peel a leaf off, put some of this in the leaf, and then um, and wrap it up. A lot of garlic. A lot of basil. Mmm, oh, that basil smells wonderful. I'm going to add a little more red pepper, not a lot. This is what makes it the lime juice. 
So I've got uh, two limes again here. And I don't want to put the lime juice in early while I'm browning the meat because, you know, citrus juice has uh, sugar in it. And um, sugar burns, and you, you don't want this to, um, to have that burnt sugar caramelized taste. At least I don't. Um, These are really good limes. They've had a lot of juice in them. This is normally served at like a um, like room temperature or uh, just warm. Uh, mine's going to be probably hot because I'm not going to wait for that long for this to cool down. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat now. Stir these herbs in. Give them a chance to integrate. Go ahead and turn this heat off. I don't need any more heat there. Love. I've never seen it with pork, just chicken and beef. Um, and, um, I, you know, I, I love the lime citrus flavor. Not everybody does. So I'm just stirring this in, covering everything with the lime juice, mixing the herbs in. Okay, that's pretty much it. All right, I'm going to plate this up. Okay, I've got this plated up. Um, uh, I didn't have any cabbage. Uh, I found um, a small bag of garden salad. Since it goes bad so quickly here, I, I just bought a bag that I, I can probably eat this in a couple of days, so I'll probably have salad again tonight or tomorrow. And, um, and I put ranch dressing on it because that's all that I have. Typically, you put like a peanut dressing on this and I may uh, do a video uh, sometime in the future oh man that windows are coming in here I hope it's not messing up my audio forgive me if it is um, normally you'd put like a, a peanut based dressing on here which I'll, I, I may show you in a later video it's really good and then uh, the larb is over here this is probably enough for two people and I still have some left over but uh, I'm hungry so I'm gonna eat it all right let's give this a taste test all right Lab. Good stuff. I'm going to stir it up a little bit, make sure that uh, lime juice is coating every bite. I really love that lime flavor. I mean, it's common in um, Hispanic dishes, lime, chili and lime. I, I oftentimes see some similarities between, you know, Latino cuisine and, um, and Thai cuisine. Uh, the jalapenos, uh, you know, just hot flavors, chilies, that kind of thing. The garlic, the lime. Uh, peanuts are a little bit different. Oh, this smells wonderful. Mm. And sirloin, so it's really a lean, uh, lean pound of hamburger. Well, not quite a pound, about 0.9 pounds. That's good. Mm. And normally I'd take a scoop of this, roll it up in a fresh cabbage leaf, a quarter quarter section of a cabbage, just peel off a leaf on the outside and roll it up like a little taco kind of thing. Taquito. So low carbs. Got to find a way to justify my eating all of this meat and fat and salt. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. All right, I don't need to taste the salad. You guys know what that tastes like. It's salad. So I'm getting my greens, I'm getting my citrus, having myself a little bit of larb. It's perfect temperature. It actually cooled while I was setting up everything here to do the taste test and. Of course, I'm going to have myself a little squirt and um, wash it down with that. All right, let me finish my meal here, and um, I'll put this together and see if I can't get it uploaded tonight for you all. It's turning to cook in, turn into a cooking show. I got some hinges today, so I'm going to do some work on the trailer here either uh, today or tomorrow, maybe over the weekend. We'll see. All right, you guys, love you. Appreciate you, and we'll see you later.